Hello students. Today we are going to discuss a new chapter from your economics book. The story of Vilay's Palampur. Production is the key to the economic development of a country. It can be agricultural like cultivation of crops or industrial like manufacturing a goods. We know more than 70 percent people in India live in villages. So people who live in villages require various goods and services. They produce it locally. So village is a good place to understand the various concept of production. Now we have Suz Palampo as the place of study the various concept of production. The students, it could be any part of India. So, Palampu is an imaginary village where farming is the main activity. Palampu is well connected with the neighboring villages and towns. Now, we try to find out how. Raigans is a big village, 3 km from Palampu. And all Weather roads connect Palampu to Raigans. Moreover, these roads are connected to the nearest town of Sahapur. So Palampu is well connected to a big village Raigans and well connected to the town of Sahapur. The roads of Palampu are not empty. Many kinds of transport are visible on this road starting from bullock carts and you will find also tangas and beside this the roads are continuously bustling with tractors carrying sugar you will also find trucks zips and motorcycle so it is a pretty busy streets well the students the village have 450 families belonging to several different castes. The 80 upper caste families own the majority of land in the village. These upper caste people have houses which are quite large and they are made of bricks with cement plastering. The SC, the leech, comprise one third of the population who live one corner of the village and in much smaller houses some of which are mud and straw. Dear students, I have already told you that Palampur is not an isolated village. It has electric connections, electricity powers, all the tubel in the fields and is used in various types of small business. Palampu has two primary schools and one high school. Further on there is primary health center run by government and also has a private dispensary where the sick are treated. So, the story of Palampu, an imaginary village, will take us through the different types of production activities in the villages. In villages across India, you find farming is the main production activity and there are non-farming activities like small-scale industries, including manufacturing, transport, shopkeeping, etc. We find in the village all kinds of activities, both farming and non-farming activities. Now, we understand few things about production. Whenever we are producing goods, we need to organize something. Therefore, the aim of production is to produce the goods and services that we want. To produce something that needs some requirement and the four biggest thing or factors that are utmost required are first 
require land second we require labor third we require physical capital and fourth we require human capital my dear children these are generally known as factors of production so we shall understand each one of them as we continue in the lesson thank you